Hello everyone. Um, in this video I'd like to share with you the method that I used to put lighting in um, in my coaches. What is uh, what you're seeing now is um, my first the first coach that I made from a kit. It's a line side hut kit of a chorus railway uh, coach and I made this kit without taking into account lighting and it's not really a high priority in in my uh, in my models because I don't do much running in the dark I'm filming this in September and next month in October at the club where I belong to we have a traditional once a year evening run get together uh, and the general public is invited to watch as well yeah then we uh, then we uh, running in the dark so it's quite fun to have uh, lights in the coaches so after I built this coach I had to figure out a way of mounting lights into the coach the traditional way of course is during the build process you uh, fit any wiring and all the bits and pieces to do with lighting and the, and the battery holder and all the rest of it you build that into into the model as you're building it um, this chorus coach has just got two passenger compartments left and right of the vestibule so if you've got a, a coach with multiple passenger compartments it might not be suitable for you what i'll do now is just put on the screen now i actually took uh, a couple of uh, shots a video showing demonstrating the uh, coach lighting in in the dark uh, didn't didn't come out too well actually the video but uh, you get the general idea you can see there the the certainly I think the crux of the matter with coach lighting is is not to make it too bright because back in the day uh, it may be gas lighting or very primitive electric lighting in these coaches so uh, just enough so you can you know see who's next to you I think uh, you won't be reading your paper in the in in these coaches at night okay so uh, we'll take the roof off the coach it's just a press fit turn it upside down so what we have are actually two magnets uh, on top of a profile a profiled piece of scrap wood that's profiled to the to the curve um, inside curve of the roof so the lights themselves are actually um, from uh, from the world of dolls houses these are like uh, the sort of compact LED lights the um, batteries inside there's a small switch on the side here to switch it on and off and the thing is they're magnetic so once it's on there turn it upside down they don't fall off so the crux here is that these these lights aren't permanently mounted to the to the coach only when I need them and um, these are like ceiling, ceiling mounted uh, lights so let me see if I can show you this but they're 1 in 12 scale now I work with 1 in 19 scale that's uh, 16 millimeters to the foot 1 in 19 so they're a bit big they're a bit big but because it's going to be uh, only because they're only going to be mounted at night it doesn't matter and so what I've done is um, also to dim down the amount of light that they produce I've just masked off a large proportion of the lens uh, with with uh, with black paint and um, so what I'll do is I'll grab my second coach that needs these lights fitted and show you uh, and, and take you through the process of uh, mounting these lights okay so here's the second coach then how do we know that you'll see in a minute there's different people in there and also if you look around the side there's a number two on the coach okay let's take the roof off again just like the first one pinch fit 
So, and with this one, you might have noticed uh, compared with the first coach, this one has got blue seating, and the other one has got, uh, and the other one has got red seating. So anyway. Uh, that's the roof off. Now let's crack on uh, with fitting the lights to the roof. There's the roof and I've got uh, for this job I've got uh, some primer, some uh, matte black. These are the two lamps that are going to be fitted. I've got a bit of scrap wood that's going to be that's going to form the mounting for the lamps uh, on the inside of the roof. And this is one of the lamp, the other lamps that I'm going to be using as a reference when I come to paint and mask off uh, a portion of the the lens from each of the lamps. Okay, then here we go. Stage one for the lamps is just putting a bit of primer on, and the key is just to look at the one you've already done. And just to get an idea of how much you need to mask off. Something like that. Fill the rest in. Okay, there's one. Same with the other one. So, get in there. In the rest, this is the problem. Oh, by the way, what I did do, I actually um, degreased the lenses before touching the paint. Have a look around. Yeah, that'll do. So, piece of cake. That's the primer. Let that dry out, and then we'll crack on with uh, the black. Okay, let's uh, go over it now with some black, matte black. And what, actually what I'm going to do is, with the black, I'm going to put two coats on it just to make sure. Oh. Blocks the light. Okay. There's the second one. So once it's dry, I'll crack on with the second coat. Then I'll let that completely dry. And then in the meantime, we can uh, look at the mounting of the lights into the inside of the roof. So there's the roof upside down. I've got my two bits of scrap that are going to form the mounting, and I've got uh, a sanding block and some uh, some uh, sanding pa uh, paper. This is 240. I hope that's uh, uh, not too fine, but we'll see in a minute. If you put the the, the mounting piece of wood onto the roof, it does mount, but I can see a bit of daylight in between. Here in the middle, so I, I, I want to chamfer off the edges uh, just so I get a good uh, fitting when uh, when I come to glue it onto uh, onto the mounting onto the roof. So we'll crack on with that now. Just the edges like this, and there's no. There's no science involved here, it's just uh, a bit of feeling. Have another go. Yeah, and that's a lot better already. So I'll probably just keep that. Do the same with the other one. Have a look. Yeah, that's okay. Let me just uh, bring one up close to the camera so you can see. So I hope you can see that. It's just just chamfered the edge off a bit and that's all you need to fit it onto the inside of the roof. Okay, with a bit of sandpaper just quickly um, score where you're going to be gluing. Other side. Put a bit of wood glue on the one. Okay, turn it over. 
and what I'm doing just with a paint jar put a bit of weight on it same with the other side weight on it there you go so we'll let that set okay the wooden mountings are fitted the lights already just bring that up show you okay there you can see the light already what I want to show you actually is the rear now here as far as I can tell these are two magnets built into the base of the light so we'll start by putting the metal discs onto the wood like that just one on the side okay now let's put uh, okay yeah just check so I've just put it and I can feel it sticking but it's not strong enough the magnet's not strong enough okay there's the theory down the drain okay so what I'm gonna have to do with this one unfortunately it does work with the other with the other carriage but with this one I can't do it so I'm actually just gonna actually going to glue them on or just going to remove this backing and see whether that works I don't know but we do need to have that let's have a look and where's this one? Oh, mistake from me need to turn it so we can get to the switch we need to be able to get to the switch Now let's have a look. Yeah. Do a bit of a shake test. Now they stay on. Okay. Question is how much do they intrude into your view into the carriage in the daylight? So the carriage is back in, carriage number two with the blue cushions. And let's uh, fit the roof back on. Yep, there it is. So here we are then, looking at it from the side. The carriage, no, they don't intrude that much. This is about the same height that you would normally be looking at it. So what we'll do now then is, uh, I'll just pull back. What we'll do now then is um, wait till it's dark this evening and then we'll try out the light. Okay, this is the first coach. Here's the second coach. <laughs> 